Is my eyelash falling off? Um, hi cuties. I look the same as I did in my unsee video. That's because I'm filming it the same day. I don't want to go and change shirt and then change the makeup. I don't want to bother. I prefer to film multiple videos in a day or two days and then I rest from filming and then I edit. That's what I like to do. In today's video, I've never done a video like this. I've always wanted to, but I never come up with things, which is, which is weird because I literally came up with this like in five minutes. Not come up with this, but I, I remembered. <laughs> this is 20 things you might not know about me. And I'm saying might because you might know it or you might not. If you want more videos like this, maybe in like a vlog format too. I've seen other YouTubers do that or one youtuber that i watch a swedish youtuber therese lindgren i've seen her do this i'm like she has some facts about her but also vlogging at the same time kind of so not just sitting in one space this eye is more hooded than that one do you see that that's why the white liner shows up more there than there i just want to start off with i don't know what to do with my hair i haven't fixed it or anything it's just my natural like hair i haven't done anything to it so i don't know what to do so there are information about me in the strip description box that a lot of people keep asking about and i'm like look in the description box under my video there is a description where you can find how old i am where i live what i use for editing my videos what the music is that i use for in this video my social media and things like that it's easy but i don't know so i'm just gonna say this now i'm 19 years old i'm 20 the june 20th 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 june uh which is very soon oh my god i live in sweden i have a dog and i have two rabbits why does my eyelash look weird this one it is on please read the description box thank you Let's get started. One, I have a new weird tick. Tick? Every year. And I mean like... I don't want to do it too much now because I don't want to trigger it. I have one new tick every year and it on sometimes it lasts for uh, some weeks up to months and months and months and it's so... It's annoying just gonna say that it's really 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 annoying because i can't stop just i have to do it right now i don't have any but i don't want to say too much <laughs> i don't want to say too much i recently just had blinking my eyes a lot like oh i don't want to do it but i just got over that thank god i love survival games dinosaurs and zombies uh i'm very interested in how it was like back in the day i don't mean like in the 60s i mean that that's interesting too i mean like when we were evolving into humans when there were dinosaurs when you know what they did like what what you know the neanderthals used to do and shit like that i'm very interested in this stuff and also true crime so survival games survival movies like you know i'm not that into movies but the most of the movies i like are like kind of survival or kind of adventure kind of stuff uh, survival games documentaries about dinosaurs do evolution i think that's very interesting I'm, I'm a nerd i guess oh yeah and zombies i <laughs> love zombie walking dead is one of my favorite tv shows i don't eat land animals okay that might sound weird but i don't eat i guess i don't eat red meat i do eat fish i do eat seafood barely ever eat dairy so i'm not plant-based but i'm not vegetarian either I guess I'm pescatarian and then sometimes have some dairy but that's not often usually it's like when I'm going to have an ice cream then you know but in my daily food intake there's never any dairy it's usually I guess I eat dairy like once a week twice a week I don't buy milk I don't buy cream that's like made of milk it's always like oats or almond maybe even rice sometimes maybe even peas you know fake meat I guess I'm half Polish and half sweet my father is Swedish he's very Swedish I mean he's not very Swedish I think he has some I'm not sure what it is it's from some country I don't know I I don't know but he looks very he looks like a very Swedish man <laughs> and my mother is Polish so 50 50 I have a phobia of the ocean and sharks oh my god this this eyelash is so heavy I feel like someone's sitting on my eyelashes i don't know what it is but just sw swimming in the ocean freaks me the hell out and i can't walk in the sand in water i need to have shoes on i don't know i, I did post a beach video like last year and i don't know if you remember but i walked in with these uh shoes that you can use in water and because i don't I f I, i'm scared i'm scared so my worst fear is being alone in the ocean in survival games let's say arc survival i play arc on mobile even being in the ocean I'm, I'm a little better with it now but even being in the ocean freaks me out in the game in the game also i used to play the forest and whenever i got into the water i freaked out i ugh, i ugh, i don't know and sharks I, I guess i'm just scared of any like big water creature 
and we don't know what's out there. What did I do with my eye? And we don't know what's out there. And we don't know what's out there. One of my favorite animals are sharks. <laughs> they actually are. I love sharks. I think they're so unbelievably cool. But I'm scared. <laughs> I'm sc oh my god, I can just imagine being in the ocean and then a shark ah! It's not that I'm scared that they'll attack me I know there's a lot of like a lot of sharks get killed for no reason and they don't even like human flesh Most of them don't aren't like interested in eating you anyways uh, It's just that the, the knowing that you're in the ocean and something can be under you uh, I don't know I don't know the sharks are really, really, really cool. I love heavy metal and rock music. I really like Rammstein too. I don't give up or give in, I guess, give up when it's something I really, really like stand for. If it's something I really want or really like or really love, you know, whatever. When like really, really, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not stopping. I'm, I just, even if it feels like oh, I'm gonna give up, I never actually do it. <laughs> when I love someone, I really really love them no seriously i really do i give my all sometimes it can be a bad thing because the other person might not give all but just an example i've never been on a plane i've never stepped my foot on a plane i've never flown a pl uh, in a plane what's it called and i don't plan on doing it either i didn't finish school i was fluent in polish when i was a kid um until my mom left now i don't know i know some words but i don't know Polish fluently like I used to. It's very hard for me to learn like in school and stuff and I'm 99% sure that I'm dyslexic. I'm not just saying oh my god I'm so dyslexic but like honestly when I read things sometimes I have to read it over and over. You should just see some- I cut out a lot of my videos like if I need to read something like if I'm reading a question or something like that I keep reading it over and over not every time but most of the time I keep I have to read it over and over and over and over again and it drives me insane and sometimes the words like kind of fly around I'm like oh I can't read and then some words I can't pronounce even though I know the word even if it's Swedish even if it's I don't know it's just something with my brain I I'm dyslexic <laughs> I'm 99% sure. A lot of opinions I had as a five, five, six, seven, eight, nine year old child, I still have today. You might wonder what, for example. Well, <clears throat> when I was a kid, and I heard this from a lot of people too, like my grandma and stuff, I used to say that people don't take men's abuse seriously. And I do remember saying that too. And no one ever told me that. No one ever like, put that on me like, oh, this is how it is, this blah, blah, blah. That's just something I thought because I had seen it with my own eyes. So I saw how unfairly untreated the men who go through sexual assault or abuse from their uh, significant, significant other. And people don't take that seriously. I have strong opinions. <laughs> you might already know. I actually hate laying in bed with someone and watching movies. I'm not that into movies. I prefer TV shows. YouTube videos. There are movies that I like, like Hunger Games and what else? <laughs> no, but uh, no, there are other videos, films that I like, but I actually hate laying with someone in the bed or couch or whatever and watching a movie. It's so boring. It's so boring. Imagine laying with your boyfriend in your bed and he just wants to watch movies all the time. Oh my god, it's so incredibly boring. I don't know what it is. It's just so boring. I don't... Unless I'm like tired or maybe, which is rare, I'm in the mood to watch a movie, which is rare. But when I'm by myself, it's totally different because I can decide when to pause, I decide what to watch, you know, it's different. But I don't know what, it's just, I get so, 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 so bored. I get so bored. Uh, so unless I'm like kind of in the mood to watch a movie, kind of, which is rare, or if I'm like sick or tired or some shit, I don't know. Like I'll pre prefer to be talking to this person or hanging out with this person, not just watch a damn movie. Unless it's like a TV show, then we can like discuss things and we're both really into the TV show, then fine. You know, I'm actually not that into makeup, believe it or not. And I have this like crazy, I mean, it's not crazy, but for me, it's very like out there. Uh, makeup up look and I, I don't think I would ever go out like this I don't know it's just because I'm not really that comfortable in this type of makeup but also inside it's fine when I film and take pictures and stuff it's totally fine but I don't know why it's not that I uh, that I'm uh, scared what others will think it's not that at all it's just that I don't really feel comfortable walking out it's like a lot of a lot of stuff you know happening I'm actually not that into makeup but weirdly enough I like watching makeup videos I like watching Jeffree Star I like watching James Charles uh, 
that's it. <laughs> I don't like tutorials though, but anything else, like Jeffree Star videos that he makes, I like those. But I'm not really that into makeup myself. Um, I do do my makeup, uh, that's because I feel more confident in it and I like to cover up my acne and my hyperpigmentation. Uh, sometimes it can be like, okay, you know, like now, but I'm not that into makeup, like deep down, I'm not that into makeup. Uh, I've struggled with acne since I was 10. The amount of love for Bruce Springsteen and Elvis Presley cannot be explained, <laughs> no joke. Elvis and Bruce has helped me so, 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 so much during my extremely bad mental health periods, I guess you could call, especially around 10, 11, 12 years old. I was struggling a lot because a lot of things were happening. Yeah, it was... I don't want to get too much into it. Um, I don't know why I'm not really co that comfortable talking about those things on YouTube because I feel like a lot of more people judge me here and just say stupid things. So I don't really want to get that much into it, but they helped me a lot. Their music, I, I was always listening to Bruce when I had a panic attack. Always. He always helped me sleep. He always made me think of other things, his music. So he has a very, very special place in my heart. Same with Elvis. Elvis was first and then Bruce came, but I still, I don't know, it's just their music and I had something to focus on, something to, that made me happy, something that made me feel special in a way, like when I listen to their music. Let me know if you have a one or two or more artists like that 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 help you in that way let me know i'm curious to see what you like what artists maybe if someone had like bruce as their like getaway artist if that makes sense the last one i'm a child sexual assault survivor i'm not gonna say victim because i'm not a victim i'm a survivor that is all 20 i hope it's 20 because when i read it here it says it's 20 <laughs> maybe i've missed some or one I, i'm i i'm dyslexic i'm gonna say it now because i'm so sure I am. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you want any other videos like this, like some little um, some little things you might not know about me. And if you want them in a, like a vlog format, maybe let me know. I actually like watching those types of videos. If there's anything you're wondering, let me know down below. Yes, I actually like reading your comments when like you're telling me something like maybe about yourself or something like that. I don't know. It just feels like you're more than just names and like numbers on the screen. Does that make sense? It feels like you're actually kind of real. Does that make, does that, does that sound bad? I don't mean that I don't think you're real or that I think you're like, like ghosts. I don't know. It just doesn't really feel real when it's online. You know, if that makes sense. So I love reading your comments when it comes to that. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Any other videos you'd like to see, leave them down below. I actually lost all the, um, what's it called? Uh, videos, video ideas I've written down on my phone. Anyways, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.